So Conan O'Brien is in Haiti living his best and my dream life right now and I'm so, so jealous. Hi guys, welcome to Sandra Said What? I'm your hostess with the mostest wigs. Yeah, this is the if you don't see me, if you see me I don't speak wig. That means... <laughs> but anyway, um... Today we're talking about Conan O'Brien child and he's living my dream life and I am so completely jealous right now. Jealous. By now, unless you've been living under a rock or something, I'm sure you have heard of the US's president saying the shithole comment regarding Haiti and the African nations. And this comes just on the heels of him saying that the Haitians that came here holding TPS, they have AIDS and that Africans live in huts. And I made a video about that earlier. You can take a look after watching this and that they shouldn't have any more immigrants from those places come here and they should have people from Norway mm -hmm. come here, which prompted the late night co-host to say, you know what, if the president says that about them and given his reputation, that must mean that they're a wonderful country. Let me go check it out. And he goes over there. He's been living his best life on Instagram. And he's riding the motorcycle and he's on the beaches he's making picklies this man is living my dream dream life Conan right O'Brien's show is on a global platform and it's going to expose Haiti as a beautiful the beautiful country that we knew that it always was so there's definitely a plus for us however Conan is not the only person who's been traveling to Haiti and there's been a lot of first of all the response has been like amazing it's been amazing to see like so many people who are not haitian stand up for us and speak on our behalf and say how dare you you know disrespect the first black nation without whom no black people would be free today along with a lot of hispanic people haiti and was one of the main people that assisted america with winning the world war we fed them we sent our soldiers and everything okay but maybe at some point we were allies but an ally is not your friend the people who were once your ally today they can become your worst enemies tomorrow so a lot of people have been on a mission to dispel the lies the lies the lies that haiti is just a poor impoverished country and people are living in dirt and doing nothing with their lives so that has been increasing and boosting tourism which is what we've been trying to tell y'all for the longest but it's glad it's great to see that people are not taking an, an interest which is really going to boost up the economy and when you think about it what does that really mean what happens when the dust settles and everyone has now forgotten we all know news is hot today and it's dead tomorrow what happens when you know it's no longer the hot topic or he says something next that the media is now focusing on as amazing as it is to see all these people taking an interest and it's really a good feeling and wanting to get to know us as a people, as a group, and our values and morals. Haiti's problems is much more deeply rooted. We have to be extremely careful with what we post on social media. And even if we disagree with someone or they make some kind of point, someone said that, oh, yeah, we have to see some truth to what he said. I would be remiss to say that, not to say that Haiti is in a hard situation. But the reason why we are in a tough situation is because of constant exploitation, slavery, labor, unfair rules and regulation, neocolonialism, institutional racism, and as well as the constant meddling in our elections. Government has a duty to ensure that every citizen is well taken care of. It has a duty to make sure citizens are safe, citizens are protected, they're educated, they have good health care, and we need a government in place that is going to reinforce laws and regulations that allow proper business functioning. Everyone in Haiti is a small business owner because literally that's how everyone survives is by, by the little money that they make. But we need a government that's going to be in charge of that. Right now is an amazing opportunity to utilize this money to put in place state funded healthcare, state funded education amongst other, t other things and security. But we have in place puppets as politicians who do not know what they're doing and cannot possibly do anything about it because the people that they're backed up with by would not allow it. 
Racist and unfair laws force countries like Haiti to participate in a marketing system which does not benefit them. And if they do choose to opt out, they will face severe embargo where it's to the point where they can't even function. To make matters worse, people are now blaming the Trump election on Haitians. Please, because I guess there were like a few Haitians and little Haiti that was supporting Trump or whatever. Let's get it clear, okay? 57% of these same white women who are marching, okay, for women's right, when even if, when he said a lot of degrading things about women, okay, which is reinforcing rape culture, they voted for him. 68% of white men voted for Trump. Only 4% of black women women of which that includes all black women in this country of which haitian women make a very very small minority voted for him okay so let's be clear if anyone put trump in power today it was white men and women you don't get to tell haitians how to feel about the people who abuse and use their countries you don't get to tell them that you should have voted for hillary despite the fact that she had exploited haiti for a very long time her whole entire family and because you didn't like trump you don't get to tell us how to feel and though hillary did this you should have still voted and blah 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 you don't get to tell us how to feel about the people who use and abuse our country much like white people don't get to tell black people how to feel about social in injustice and racism the notion that we shouldn't be angry about being disrespected because we disrespect ourselves is absurd and ridiculous we are not the reason why trump is saying racist things about us trump is saying racist things about us because he is a racist point blank period the UN and US have a long history of exploiting Haiti. Yes, it's true. It's not debatable. It is an indisputable fact that the UN and Haiti and other European countries have exploited Haiti for the longest. So I said this before, I'll say it again. Let your anger be ammunition for change. Let it be the wheels that drive you. Let it be the inspiration as to why we no longer want to be here and be at your As mercy. welcoming as we are to outsiders doing something for our country. I spoke lightly about that on one of my last videos. But the reality is only Haitians can save Haiti. It is the interaction with each other. It's how we treat the next man. It is how we care for our country. And I know a lot of times people like to blame it on the Haitians who burn things. And when there is some kind of dispute within the government system but the reality is if you have people very powerful people who are trying to force you in a corner and you have no other option you are going to utilize whatever means that you can so that you can reduce the oppression it is not that Haitians don't care about their country when they do that is that they don't have any other means to defend themselves so that's the only way that they're going to do it if you take for example what happened when uh, Michel Matéli was in power not long ago they came to Akai and basically told everyone to evacuate they don't care who you are how long you've been there because it's located right by the beach and we're just gonna take it and sell it to private companies it's not like you're putting in a program that is going to help them it's not like you're putting in a program that they can participate in it's not like it's going to be a project that you spoke to the people about because ultimately the people matter their voices matter their opinions it matter and you treat them like they are dogs and they need to evacuate so people then started burning things and started blocking the roads and people are like why are they doing this so they're supposed to let a group of people who literally have AK-47 just come and shoot up the whole place and kill them all or they have to evacuate that was the option and they utilize what they had. Haitians are very proud people and we have become the face of charity, which is more insulting to us than anything because the money that people are claiming that they're asking on our behalf, not only do we not get, okay, it is utilized for people to come to our own country, buy our own land that we do not even have access to. There are places in Haiti that is off limits to people, to the people of Haiti, people who don't have a lot of money. And if you even think about it, there are people, seriously, there are people who literally come from France with their documents stating 
you know what i know you guys had a little revolution or whatever but you know this is where my great 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 grandfather used to live i'm gonna need you to evacuate that is so freaking insulting i don't even know how these people have the balls to come and do something like that and get away with it that's the worst part and there are people who crazily say that we should invite him to haiti so what we are always seeking other people's approval we do not need validation from people we do not need to invite him to see our country we do, as as a matter of fact we should ban him for life okay what kind of shit is that is what what is it that we should invite why is it that we should invite someone who does not like us clearly has disrespected us on a global platform yet we are open sending him an invitation to come see us and see the value in us we don't need to see we don't need him to see the value in us we need to see it in ourselves and we need to do something about it as amazing as this is again but our problems are much more deeply rooted and need to be confronted and as we know difficult problems need different solutions and we have a lot of them so yeah you guys i'm very happy about what's happening and but i'm realistic enough to understand that if we don't take advantage at this moment and make it something worthwhile it's not going to mean anything that's quite frankly what it is so thank you guys for watching i will see you in the next video sandra said what at gmail.com for your questions <laughs> oh my god i keep forgetting the information um twitter sandra underscore normal n-o-r-m-i-l instagram oh my god i am hating instagram right now they have these new updates and it's not it's like just pissing me off yeah instagram sandra n-e-i-k-o facebook.com forward slash sandra said what and i will talk to you in the next video i love you guys for watching